here's one of the things that I love about Kudu. Kudu grows with you as a cook, and that's really hard to do. Um, you know, I've, I'm a cookbook author as well, and when I wrote my first book, Fire in My Belly, I tried to include recipes that a person who is brand new to cooking could do, while simultaneously including recipes that a seasoned cook or even maybe a professional chef would still be interested in trying. And it's really hard to translate that into a cooking device. Most limit themselves at a certain point or they have an entry level that's maybe pretty high and it's very difficult to have that apparatus grow with you. Kudu is not that way. I mean, we can do something as simple as grilling a flank steak or grilling a piece of salmon. You know, we'll include recipes and videos on our website that show you how to do something as simple as that. Straightforward, five, 15, 20 minute commitments. And I guarantee you anybody can walk in off the street and do that because we'll teach you how to start a fire with charcoal in a charcoal starter with little starter bundles where all you have to do is flick the lighter and it lights up and in 20 minutes you're ready to cook. Or we can take that all the way to the next level where we're talking about cooking over dual temperatures in two zones. Maybe you're grilling while searing. You know, um, we'll show you how to take that to the next level. And if you want to cook over hardwood, we actually bring in a really cool, unique African hardwood that is the hardest thing you've ever felt. It feels like a brick, but what it does is it produces an incredible kind of hickory slash mesquite smoke, which is fantastic, but it also will burn for hours and produce some of the best coals to cook on you've ever seen in your life. And so as a cook, as you get more adventurous, as you get more skill, the kudu keeps growing and it keeps changing. And then all of a sudden you realize, you know what? I wanna throw a third device on here. I wanna have my grill, I wanna have my pan, and I wanna have my poiki, my Dutch oven, swinging around there, you know? Or you come in and go, I wanna add a bread baking box to this because I wanna make fresh bread for the hamburgers that I'm making. And you know what? It can do that too. It's never going to let up. If you want to stretch your imagination and you want to stretch your cooking skill, this is going to stretch with you. And what's funny is that it looks so simple. It looks so basic and rudimentary, but that's the key is that it hasn't built into itself limitation. The only limitation in it is where you are speaking from a culinary standpoint, where you are in your skill set. And so maybe the first thing you ever make on it is some hot dogs out of a package but it's all it's gonna take for you to get hooked on the flavor of cooking over an open fire. And then the next time you go hamburgers and the next time you go chicken breast. And before you know it, two years down the road from now, you're grilling short ribs and you're doing, you know, an oxtail stew and you're making bread. Maybe you're doing a 40 pound whole hog because it can do that too without batting an eye. 